Hey, Jonathan, how are you doing? Lesson three coming up. Okay. So back to the whiteboard. Okay. Wait a minute for the whiteboard. So it's color to work with, which I like blue. Okay, great. Recapping. We're kind of always going to recap. We're talking about algebra, which is math with variables, such as X and Y and A and Q letters that stand for numbers. Okay, and then in algebra, we've got two main strands of things that we're working on until we realize that everything flows as one and then we are enlightened. Uh, solving equations. And then we were working with expressions and we had listed that we had listed three things we had listed evaluating so i'm just going to say eval evaluating i will then say simplifying which is simp short for simplifying and then factoring we could say fact how does that sound keep it simple okay we worked on evaluating last time and when we're working on evaluating, for example, 4x plus 1 when x equals 2, plug in 2 for x, 4 times 2 plus 1 equals 8 plus 1 equals 9. That's our answer. When we're evaluating, we need to know what X is. Need to know. The value of the variable. Or variables. There could be more than one variable. We need to know the value of the variable in order to evaluate. This second skill that we're gonna work on, and this is only, we're gonna be pushing factoring off for quite a bit because factoring is a little tougher, but you'll get there. This second skill of simplification, I think is in some ways the easiest skill, which is why I like, like to introduce evaluating and just get it over with. It's important, but it's not as important as simplification, not when solving equations. Simplification, for example, is 2x plus 3x plus 5x. And how does this work? Why does this work? Remember that when we say 2x, we really mean x plus x. And when we say 3x, we really mean x plus x plus x. So if we're going to put them all together, we're going to end up with 5x, if that makes sense to you, OK? So this idea of simplifying, for example, given 4x plus 6x. We just simply take these numbers and add them and keep the variable the same. So 4x plus 6x is 10x. 3x plus 13x is 3 plus 13 is 16. Put an x there. We can do the same thing with, with subtraction. 7x minus 2x equals 5x, 100x minus 3x equals 97x. So for addition and subtraction, these rules work perfectly. And we can mix them up. We could say 10x minus 2x plus 5x. 
5x. And we can either just kind of go along and do this, or we can break it into several pieces. I think 10x minus 2x is 8x. And then if you have 8x plus 5x, that's going to equal 13x. And just one other thing. Remember that if x plus x plus x equals 3x, each one of these x's really is 1x. We don't usually write the 1. We usually just leave it as x. So in a problem like 10x plus x, don't get confused and say, well, I only see a 10. I don't see another number, so it must equal 10. This is really a 1, and that equals 11x. Oops. Same with subtraction, 15x minus x minus x. 15 minus a 1 minus a 1 takes us down to 13x. Okay. And this is simplification. So I think in our first lesson together, our first lesson live or live on Zoom, we had started by working on problems like 4x equals 12. So we're now back to solving equations. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to apply some of the things that we know to solving equations. So let's call this solving of our equations. A little bit of practice on this, T-I-O-N-S. So, okay, great. A little bit of practice on this. See if you can get out in front of me and say the answer before I tell it to you. 4x plus 12, 4 times something equals 12. x equals 3. And that's the solve right there. How about 5x equals 35? 5 times something equals 35, what would that be? x equals 7, 5 times 7 is 35, and that is the solve. We figured out what x is, that's how we solve an equation. And then I think we went a little bit more difficult. We said, well, what about 3x plus 4x equals 14? And we said, now this is a little more confusing, but we have, now we have in our bag of tricks simplification, we can simplify these values. 3x plus 4x we know to be 7x. And now you could probably look at this question, at this equation, and say, I know what x is. x equals 2 because 7 times 2 equals 14. You could have done it at the beginning. I mean, I'll, I'll circle back and say, well, you could have said 3 times 2 plus 4 times 2. What does that equal? 6 plus 8. Yeah, 6 plus 8 does equal 14. But that's a lot harder to see that. And as problems get more difficult, like, for example, if we have 5x plus 4x plus 2x equals 33. I would say that it'd be pretty difficult to figure out what that is without getting a little into a system. And the system here would be, how does this simplify? 5 plus 4 is 9 plus another 2 is 11. That means that this all boils down to 11x equals 33. At this point, you may find it a lot easier to notice that x equals 11 times what equals 33, x equals 3, and that's our solve. So we're taking more and more complicated equations, and we're still managing to find out what that x is. Seven x plus three x plus one equals ninety one. Let's think about this. 
You may be able to see it, but let's begin by saying, well, 7x plus 3x is 10x plus a 1 equals 91. What number times 10, and then you add a 1 equals 91? You may be able to see this. The answer is x equals 9. And the reason for that, let's just check this out. What we're saying is 10 times, and this is where the uh, simplify, not the evaluation comes into play when you come back and do a check. 10 times 9 plus 1 equals 91. Is that true? We put a little question mark over this equal sign sometime to say, is that true? We're checking it out. 90 plus 1 equals 91. I am confident to say that that's true. So that means that we found a good answer here. And I'm going to leave this question for you for the next video. 7x plus 4x minus 6x. plus 13 equals 28. This is where it gets complicated. And so I'm going to just leave this hanging for the next video. And I think you may well be able to do this because I already gave you the skill that I'm going to discuss in number four. Lesson number four. Okay. So I'll see you there and I'm going to keep this screen.